Hello again, everybody. This is Scott Hudgens with Dodd RV, located in Yorktown, Virginia. Today, we're looking at a brand new 2020 Grand Design Transcend 29 TBS. Single slide out, L-shaped bunk beds in the back, queen bed up front, great floor plan for the family. Hey, do me a favor, watch to the end of the video if you want to see a video with the slide outs in, get an idea of the space. I'll have that for you at the end of the video. Thanks again for watching. And as always, I'll do my best to put the specs, holding tank sizes, weights, all that good stuff in the description down below. Thanks again for watching. All right, so starting on the inside today, you see single slide outs got your large u-shaped dinette refrigerator nice large window window with the tri-fold sleeper sofa tons of countertop space bunk beds in the back you do have a side hallway to the master bedroom solid door for the shower uh, being the bunk model, we'll go ahead and start there. Right off, you'll see tons of storage. Plenty of room for gear, toys, nice large drawers. You got a spot for hanging. Also a spot for a TV. Plug right up into your cable. Kids have their own light. Extra light there. Windows that do open. Give you some cross breeze. They also have shades to blacken out when they're sleeping. Nice mattresses, so the L-shaped top and then the larger bottom bunk. They do have heat ducts, receptacles, and then your AC ducts in the ceiling, and then an exhaust vent. Again, more drawers. Kids can hang out in here, and then they've got floor space to change. Um, getting out of the bed. Another nice feature, you can close that door right off. Kids go to bed early, close the door, keeps it nice and quiet in there for them to sleep. Skylight in the living area, ducted AC, nice glass front cabinets, good storage, a little bit deeper storage there. Tons of deep countertop space with receptacles. Deep stainless steel sink with the spray head. More storage. Nice deep drawers. Oven with a flush mount cover. Pop that cover up, that three burner range, and there's a nice splash guard. More countertop space. Tons of drawers. Got storage on either side of the TV. The TV does come out and swivel. Again, making it easier to get behind there. Plug in, get to the cable. If you're plugging in a PlayStation, something like that, you can do it quite easily. Windows do open. Again, nice cross breeze. Gas electric refrigerator. Nice drawer down low. Storage underneath the dinette. That dinette does drop down into a bed. We'll show you that. And also the tri-fold sleeper sofa. Show you that as well. All right, real quick setup and breakdown of the U-shaped dinette. Pretty easy, two pedestals. Can remove the pedestals for stores they will fit underneath the dinette there is a little lip that sits around the edge of this the table rests right on that lip it's easier to put it in there when you remove the cushions but for time's sake just rest it right on the lip there you've got Backer cushions that have Velcro. So you can remove those.
your back cushions give you the option of the fabric or the smooth side. Just like that, easy setup and breakdown. Now you've got the bed. You can put these cushions back here and rest them, give you a little padding from the wall. You can make this kind of a day bed. Sit back, relax, you can watch TV, you've got that option. Um, and again, personal preference on what you want displayed. Remove the cushions, the table pops up. Rest the table right in place. Slide those rear cushions in and you've got your dinette. Set back up. So easy setup, breakdown, U-shaped dinette. Moving over to the trifold sofa. Same thing, they use a lot of Velcro to keep things in place for transit. Pull at the bottom, you got two adjustable legs. You can't put these cushions back in the storage or you might have your pillows, linens, or sheets in there. Drop that down. Then you've got your bed already set up. You got room to walk around this. So if someone's sleeping here at night and someone needs to get to the refrigerator or someone from the bunk area needs to get to the bathroom, you can still get by this with no problem. Then for setting it back up, fold the cushion. Utilize that Velcro, stick them right back in place. That's the setup and breakdown of the trifold sleeper sofa and the booth dinette. More overhead storage. Tons of lights. So a great living area. Kind of made for storage and countertop space. Going down this hallway, first thing you see is the motion sensor lighting. Your convenience area, slide control, awning control, ceiling lights, and then you can check your levels of the tanks, your battery, freshwater, gray water tanks, all in one spot. Very convenient. Another solid door, you can close off the bathroom. Close off the shower. With the kids, it's always good to prevent as many spills as possible with the shower water coming out onto the floor. So, that door does it for you. So, very nice surrounds, skylight, more storage, and vanity. Small sink, but they give you a little bit more countertop space so you can set up your, your shaving, your hair stuff all in one area. But yeah, sink is a little small. Receptacle, plenty of room around the toilet. Again, another solid door. So three solid doors, bathroom, bedroom, bunk area to close off for as much privacy as possible. Queen walk around bed. Shocks that hold it up for you with the good storage. On either side, you've got receptacles. You got your USB charging port. Hanging storage. Overhead storage with cabinets. It's nice to keep everything where it's supposed to be. Your second AC, non-ducted on this one in the bedroom. So the second AC is just blowing in here. You got air ducts for that front. Um, the other AC that blows in here as well. TV location in here, so you can put a TV in the master bedroom. 
another hanging storage with plenty of drawer space. Nice room to get around the bed. So single slide out, nice bunks in the back with a door. Booth dinette, sleeper sofa, 29 TBS. Hit that subscribe if you have not yet. Thumbs up. Really means a lot. I really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. Let's keep going. All right, starting on the outside of the Transcend. Nice front logo. Power tongue jack with light on the front. 29 TBS right on the power tongue jack. Gives you an idea of what you're looking at going down those long rows of campers. Save you some time. Go right to the one you want. Two 20 pound LP bottles, spot for two batteries. You are prepped for solar, so a portable panel will charge those batteries up front for you. Pass through storage with the motion sensor lighting, nice clean storage area. And your docking area, you got a battery disconnect, receptacle, cable, and water hookup, feed everything right through the bottom keep this door shut and insulated we're also looking at a dry weight of 7,622 pounds magnetic latches hold that door up and for people who don't like to mess with the keys time you've got a latch on either side keeps that door nice and flush make sure you're not getting any leaks over time the door is not going to warp Got a black tank flush, sewer connection, black and gray pull valves, 50 amp service. We did equip this with two air conditioners, all four corner stabilizer jacks. If you don't like cranking, get your socket, hook it right to your drill, zip those right down. Spare tires mounted on the bumper. You do have roof access. Two ACs, three roof vents, skylights. Ladders built in, and you've got prep for backup camera. Spray port on the outside, so you've got a hook up here to spray off, which is close to your outside kitchen. Two burner range. Small electric refrigerator. Again, magnetic latch. You do have a full length power awning with LED light. You also have outside speakers. Hook up for an outside TV. Nice aluminum rims. Uh, easy close the aluminum steps on the entry door. The other side of your pass through storage. Both sides have their own light. Heading in, first thing you notice is the friction hinge. Wherever you leave that door is where it stays. So all the way out of the way, missing that awning. And then you also have the screen door. All right, real quick, thanks for watching. Slide out in. All right, all the way in. Access to the refrigerator is about half. Full access to the freezer. Doesn't affect the bathroom or bedroom. And then one, two, three, maybe three, three and a half seconds. You can get all the way in the fridge. Guys, I just want to take a minute and thank you for watching the video. Hope I answered all your questions. Uh, if not, list them down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. If there's a floor plan I have not yet posted, I'll do my best to get that put on as quickly as possible. Um, I'm putting videos on quite frequently, so make sure you hit the subscribe and notifications bell and quick thumbs up. Um, thanks again for watching. It means a lot. Scott Hudgens, Dodd RV.